It's time for some follow-up calls, y'all. It's time for some follow-up calls, y'all. Follow-up. Follow-up. Pick up the phone. Let's go. Come on. What's up, everybody? I gotta get the phone. I'm gonna do a follow-up if I can't get the phone. About to do a follow-up call right quick. She says she wants to sell. It's a good house, too. And it sounds like a deal. What up, what up, what up? Luxury Fitness Hoops. What's up, Tony Cole? What's up, everybody? Too Stupid Taylor. How y'all doing? Happy Monday to you. Turkey Day week is upon us. I want to see you eating healthy, right? I want to see you eating healthy so you can stay wealthy. If that makes sense. So, yeah, this property I'm about to call on, uh, she spoke to my assistant actually days back. Looked like about a week or so back. So I probably could have messed this deal up for a failure to follow up. Don't you be failing to follow up. I have a bad habit of that. I will confess. Follow up game weak. But she still wants to go. What up, what up? Maybach Maj. What's up with you? DS Resale. Reselling them game strong. What up? Alright, so this house here... Fresh Start Investors. What's up, Maxine? The only thing is this property has somebody named Ramos on it, but I'm talking to another lady named Bertha. So I don't know if um that's her family member because it says Ramos something and others. So I guess there's multiple people on it. So I don't know if there's going to be an issue later, but it's more than one person that got to be closed on the deal. So they originally said they wanted 200000 for this house. Let you see what it look like. Looks something like that. Cute little house. Over here in Maryland Heights. Nice little house there. Is that a Hummer in the driveway? No. What is that? Just a Jeep. Okay. So yeah, that's what the house looked like right there. And um, they said they wanted 200000 for it. This came from... Where did this come from? A cold call from bankruptcy list. So we basically touched everybody who had a bankruptcy in the last year. Touched them all. And let them decide if they want to sell or not. So now we're going to see. She says she yes, she do want to sell. Um, the property looked like it's worth about 250 to 260 Um, And uh, we're going to see what they got. All right. Don't forget, tonight we're going live, 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock Eastern. We're on with TJ out of Houston. We're going to be doing that um, short-term rental. Talking about short-term rentals. That'll be tonight. If you want to be notified of that, all you have to do is text. Hold on, let me put it in the phone here. Text JV to 636-330. One four four four. Put that in there. Since that changed, I got rid of my other number. They said the short term or the short codes won't work. So let's get Miss Big Bertha on the phone. I shouldn't call her Big Bertha. Uh, just because her name Bertha, I want to call her Big Bertha. Bad is that bad? <laughs> the reason they're selling is the family is growing. I guess they need a bigger house. Uh, it's supposed to be five bedroom, three bath. Needs cosmetic work. Um, they live in the house. Um, other than that, let's see, I don't see anything else special on here. So let me get my cheat sheet out, too. I like to have be prepared. Being prepared is half the battle. So I texted her a few minutes ago and saying, uh, you spoke to my assistant the other day in regards to selling your house. Can I call you within the next 15 minutes? She said, okay. So that 15 minutes is almost up, so I'll be calling her up in a second here. So give this video a thumbs up, give it a like, give it a share. And we'll do this if we dare. Let me pull up my cheat sheet. So I'll have it right there. And we'll be ready. What's up, Angel? How you doing? Where you been hiding? You staying out of trouble? You ready for Turkey Day? You ready for Black Friday? You ready for something? You ready or not? Here I come. You can't hide. 
Alright, <clears throat> so I got all that right there, and now I just need to call her. Is that it? Text, okay. Big Bertha, let's give her a call. Ooh, which number do I call from? This one. Are you ready? Are you ready? Put ready in there. Let me know if you're ready. Are you ready? What's up, Al Ramsey? Well, let's do it. Time to connect to three one. Ready, 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 ready. I just text her. I'm sorry, the person you were trying to reach has a voicemail box. I'll call her back in a minute. Hopefully she don't call back, because if she calls back, it's going to ring the phone I'm streaming on. Eh, flag on the play. Try that again. I just told her I was going to call her. What did be doing? Give her 10 seconds and call again. I feel like a dang on. Um, oh, no, that's too quick. Wait a minute. I don't want to call yet. Give it a second. I want to give her a five or a couple of minutes just in case they sitting on the toilet or something. And now somebody else texting me up here that I called earlier too that didn't answer. You know how people be doing? I call them, they don't answer. They call me, I be answering. What's up with that? You know what I mean? What's up, Just Inc. 1987? Sound like a millennial up in here. A 80s baby. All right. Give it a few more seconds and I'll call her again. Big Bertha. What's up, Big Bertha? I better not say that. I'll be in trouble. <clears throat> but yeah, like I said, tonight we'll be streaming live with um, TJ out of uh, Texas. Matter of fact, here you go. I'll let you see exactly who it is while we waiting for her. I'm trying to give her a few seconds. I don't want to ca keep calling back. And is that a bold claim? It replaces everything you've been spending money on in real estate. That's a bold claim. I don't even like making claims like that. It don't even feel right. But it's the truth. It replaces everything. It records all calls and everything. I'm tired of you ducking me, man. I be ducking? Oh, no. I don't be ducking. So this is who I'm on with tonight. Tonight, the 23rd, right? Yeah. So we're on with Mr. TJ to Johnny out of Houston, Texas. Talking about those short-term rentals. He's a super host with Airbnb. I think he has. I don't know. Don't make me lie. A lot of Airbnbs. Don't know how many. Probably over 100. I don't know. But then, uh, yeah. Oh, they be ducking me. Exactly. Nook if you buck. But yeah, what you, what you were just asking about is that um, woke reply. Yeah, that bad boy, nice. I wouldn't necessarily say it replaces car rail. I mean, you can have it replace car rail. Depends on what you're using car rail for. If you're using it for like I knew she was on call right back. Now she called me. I gotta wait a second. Call her on this other phone. <clears throat> I waited a little too long on her yakking. I knew to just call right back. Hope she ain't leaving no voicemail. Cause I'm calling her right now. Press one to connect to three one four. Hello. Hey, uh, Bertha. Hey, this is Chris. How are you today? Good. All is well. All is well. I uh, just saw you. I spoke to my assistant in regards to selling your house over on King Carey. I was just trying to get a little more information so we can go ahead and make an offer on it or see if we can make something happen. How does that sound? Yeah, it sounds like a plan. Great, great. Now, she said something about it needed some light cosmetic repairs. Is that all it really needed as far as um making it perfect, I guess? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, we... Um we 
appreciate this to listen to this like four or five years ago. Brand new. Um, we normally have it uh, maintenance, so everything's working well. Um, and everything else is working. It's just painting, anything for new remodeling. So you say just a little bit of paint and uh, touch-up stuff, huh? Right. Okay, perfect, perfect. And so um, we have that there. And I guess um, it's that it really wouldn't cost as much to really uh, do that little bit of painting, I guess. There's nothing major, though, huh? Right. Okay, perfect, perfect. And so uh, let's see here. Did you have anything you're going to be leaving behind or anything, or are you plan on taking everything out with you when you sell it? Um, as much as we can. Okay. Well, that's the good thing. When you sell to us, we take the house pretty much as is. If there's anything you do want to leave behind, you just leave it there and we'll take care of it. And uh, anything you do want to take, just make sure you take it with you because once we send our crews in, they come in like a tornado and they, you know, <laughs> they remove anything that's not supposed to be there. Okay. Okay. And then, um, how do we go about viewing the inside of it? Uh, is it, um, is there a way you can send pictures or something like that, I guess? Or is it... Um, like the room? Uh, yeah, just the uh, layout of the property and stuff like that. Oh, we can. Okay. Perfect. And is there anybody else that's going to be helping you with the uh, decision on selling and everything? I saw I had a couple of other My names husband? on your lead, on your thing or something. My husband. Okay, the hubby. Okay, and he's okay with everything? He's ready to sell as well, huh? Yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect. And so, uh, what's more important to you, getting a quick sale or getting the price that you want? Getting the price I want. Okay, and you were asking about 200000 is that right? Right. Okay, we're, uh, we're actually really close. I mean, I, I was thinking around the 190s. I mean, is that something you would consider? I would have to ask my husband about it. Right, we don't want to get you in trouble with that. Um, is he around right. now, or? He's not here right now. Um, uh, Okay, and if we're able to agree on everything, are you all uh, ready to get the process started? Yeah. Okay, and then about closing time frame, uh, did you already have a place you're moving to and stuff like that? Or uh, what kind of time frame were you looking for as a closing date? Uh, once we um, have that, we'll probably need uh, about maybe three weeks um, before we can close it. So right around Christmas time, I guess? Right. Okay, that's fine. So, yeah, we can make that happen. That's not a problem. And then, um, so, how do you see everything going out uh, as far as a perfect case scenario for you guys? Uh, I'm sorry, what's that? I think it would work out good. Well, I think I have what I need here, so um, you just have to check with him. Was he the one who said uh, 200000 originally, or was that something you came up with? Uh, well, we get a lot of the flyers when we set up our houses in the area, and they're selling for $250, some are even higher. Right, right. And well, also, uh, most of them don't have fully finished basements, and I could have. Oh, you have a full, fully finished basement? I didn't have that on here. Yes, they have two bedrooms and then uh, the laundry room, uh, uh, a restroom, uh, a small living room, and then my husband divided the living room with, uh, he did a small bar, and then we have a kitchen. Okay, so so basically, okay, it's a whole other house in the basement then, basically. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can live down there and never come upstairs for anything, huh? Yeah, and it has its own entry to the back, so. 
Okay. So the other thing too, so if, if you uh, were to sell to us, uh, the price we agree to is the price you actually get. There's no real estate commissions. There's no fees. And typically we even pay the closing costs. So, you know, that's the actual number you would walk away with, you know, minus any liens or mortgages or anything. Um, and you said you still okay. owed a little bit on it, I guess? Right. Okay. So, yeah, that, I mean, and so I guess that's the best thing is, uh, if we can do something, you know, around that range, I think we can make something happen. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll send you my uh, actual email address. I'll just text you my email address. You can send them over to there, and uh, we'll we'll get you something okay. in writing for it. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. I don't know. She's not really the decision maker, so I really can't push too hard on her. So what do you think about that call? That's the problem with that. Like I said, the decision maker ain't there. If the hubby's, the, you know, he might come in and say, hell no, I ain't taking a penny less than 200 even though it's a deal at 200 because I think I can sell it if on a wholesale deal. Probably, let's see, don't make me lie. Like I said, the ARV or after repair value is like 260 and it's in a good area, so we'll do a 20% discount. 260 times 0.8 gets us 208. Minus any repairs, which you really don't need much. You know, maybe some paint. But in those areas, like I say, that stuff don't even really matter. If you can get a house that cheap. Matter of fact, let me see. I think I got some comps over here. What would you think about that call? Does she sound like she even want to sell? Does she sound kind of motivated? Because the reason they're selling, like I said, is that the uh, they need more space. So this is a comp that sold in October. That sold for two sixty five. It's a three three. Ours is supposed to be a. She said hers was a five bedroom. No, I, should, I meant to ask her that why I had her on the phone. I think I screwed that up. Um, but here's another one. Two sixty. That sold back in August of twenty seven or uh, twenty twenty. <clears throat> Matter of fact, hold on, let me see something here. Our property is supposed to be, uh, well, on here they have it as a 3 2, 6, uh, 1465 square feet, but she said it was a 5 3, so they did some work to the basement. So, really, it's probably worth more than even that. I might, I might just need to take that 200, lock it up, and see what I can do. <laughs> but, you know. So let's see. That's another property there. So for two fifty, another comparable. I'm looking on Redfin, by the way. That's where I like to go look and see what stuff sold for. Now this one sold for only two hundred. Why? I don't know. But that's exactly the same price they're asking. I mean to click that. That's just a comparable property. And there's another one. So the lowest I could find was this one sold for one eighty, but that's a three two. Like I said, our subject property is supposed to be a five three supposed to be. I guess I should have asked her that. Let me see something here. Let me let me just call her back real quick. She's going to be like, what? You just spoke to me. Let me check on this bedroom count because I don't want to be a uh, cop or something bad. Press 1 to connect to the Answer. I'll just text her and ask her. Maybe she back doing them something. Sounds like she was working. And actually, that's a uh, look like a company phone number, some type of cleaning company. So they're doing that. I'm just gonna say, what is the best email? address for you. Uh, you know what? That ain't what I want to say. I need to say something different. Something better. Something gooder. Do it sound like something happening there? If she only want 200? Would you lock it up for 200 and see what you can do? Or would you just say, nah, I need to get it lower? What would you do in this situation? Okay. It was great speaking to you today. Learn more about us there. Please 
10 best email address for you, Chris. All right, boom, that's what I'm going to say right there. <clears throat> that's what I'm going to say. I forgot I had a, uh, an actual short email already made to go. It was great speaking to you today. Learn more about us at the website. Please send the best email address for you. And so if she sent her email address, I can uh, go ahead and send her an email. Um, I want to go and send her a damn contract, is what I want to do. But I'm like, no. They wanted one night. They wanted 200. I'm trying to be in the 190s. I'm trying to make sure I got a spread on this property, really. I mean, I think it's a deal at that because I think I could sell it for around 210 on a wholesale deal. And in reality, I probably could hotel this deal. I probably should take it down myself. Hmm. If it really need light or no repairs, could I just take it down myself? Could I do that? Take it down for 200. Do put about five to ten in it. That's what 210, and sell it for the 260 is worth. Two, it may be worth more if it's really five bedrooms. This might be my first flip. Do I want to flip a property? Not really, but I mean I don't know. Sound like there's more money in that. Let's see, 210 plus closing costs plus a little bit of repairs. Oh, I'm sorry, 200. I'll be all in about 210. 210 to 215, we'll say. Worst case scenario, put it back up on the market at 265 or so. Because it looks like these properties are actually going up in value over here. Up, up, up and away. Oh, they bought it for 190 when they bought it. When did they buy it? A couple of years ago? Hold on. But they put money into it, so that's why they want to get a little return on it. What's up, T Mac? What do y'all think about this property? You think this is a go or no go? Is it a win or is it my friend? What's up, Anthony? What's up, Shika? <clears throat> so I think I'm gonna um once she sends me back her email address. I'll just go ahead and um, I think I want to send her an offer at 195 yeah, and call it a day. That's what I would like to do. But it's kind of hard to do that. Like I say, I don't know what the hubby thinks about this. Because that could be the person to say, oh, hell no, I wouldn't even shout out for 200 Because did he come up with that number? What did she say when I asked that question? When I said, did he come up with that number? Or was that something you came up with? Positioning. And she sounded adamant about that 200. And I guess they did some more research too because on the original phone call. <clears throat> would you like to hear the original phone call? Hold on. Let me see. I think I said that, that on here. The original call she did with my virtual assistant. Her name, please. My name's Rosa. Hi, Rosa. Hi, Rosa. Is that right? Yes. Yes. Okay. And the address of the property would be. It's one, one, three bathrooms. So it's three bathrooms. How about the best? It's probably two and a half. Uh, it's three, and the top, and it has two and a two downstairs. So total. It has five beds. It has a full bedroom basement. Okay, so it's five beds and three baths. Yes. So it is five beds, three baths. Okay, and are you aware of any repairs that are needed?
two water heater last year. And now that you mentioned the um, brand new uh-huh. water heater. And the air conditioner was placed uh, five years ago. What's up, Gabrielle? Okay, so uh, you mentioned um, hot water heater has no issue since it's brand new. And right now it's central air? I'm sorry? Um, is it window units or central air? Did you mention central? Yes. Okay. And you may mentioned uh, the basement is full finished? Yes. Okay. And is there a, a walkout basement? Yes, it is. Okay. There is a walkout basement. Well, it seems like a nice house, so what makes you decide to sell it? Uh... We're growing as a family, and now kids mm-hmm. are here because uh, one is in college, so oh. uh, it's just an option out there. Okay. And do you still, is there a mortgage on the house? Do you still owe something on it? Yes. Okay. About how much do you still owe on it? I believe it's 180 180 And how much is the monthly payment at? She owes less than 182 by the way. And that includes the PITI, the principal interest taxes insurance? Yes. Okay. So right now you live on that house? Yes. And how much are you looking to get for your house? Uh, about 200 about 200. 200. Yes. Okay. And where did you get the amount from, if I may ask? Um, different houses around the area have been selling for over that. Uh-huh. They were about 250, 230. Uh-huh. They know what them houses go for. <laughs> okay. So if we can work everything out, how soon would you like to close? Uh, as soon as you have numbers, then you give me a call back and start working on that. Okay. Okay, great. So have you ever thought about listing the property with a real estate agent? Uh, no. Nope. Okay. And would you possibly, as I was asking earlier, would you possibly consider taking monthly payments until we pay you off in full? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, so the only way that you would sell it is all cash. Right. Okay, not a problem. So what we're going to do here is to gather some more information, like the comps or comparable home sales in the area, and we will contact you back to either make an offer or to schedule a viewing appointment. So what is the best time to call you back? Uh, anything. Anytime. And do you accept text messages as well? Yes. Okay, so let me just verify just to make sure I got the phone number correctly. That would be all right. So that's basically the call, the initial call of the person that I just spoke to. So we originally found this list at WokeSource.com. We pulled the list of bankruptcies. Everybody who had a bankruptcy in the last year who got property, they got a touch from us. We got lucky on a cold call, and they said, "Yeah, they want to sell. She wants to sell." Um. And looking back on here, it looks like there was, yeah, a bankruptcy done, or they filed for bankruptcy in October of 2019. I don't know what happened with it. It doesn't say. Hmm. Come on, is that the same person I just spoke to? Because their name is on this bankruptcy part uh, documents here. Bertha. What's up, Duval? So this lady, she called back, or she actually was cold called. House over in Maryland Heights, they want two hundred thousand. I'm trying to pitch around one ninety ish. I think it might be a deal at two hundred. Uh, like I say, the houses over there go for like two sixty. If the house is like she say it is, this is what it looks like. If the house is as good as she say it is, she says it's a finished basement, full finished basement with like, I guess an extra kitchen. An extra bathroom. Would they have to cancel the bankruptcy to sell? No. No. Uh, they need to make sure it gets come out of there. 
and make sure uh, that it's not included or taken out of the bankruptcy. That's if it was included. Let's see, was it included in the bankruptcy? Because it doesn't say, it say open case. I guess it's still open because it doesn't say uh, what happened with it. Self-represented, no. So they did have an attorney. So it may have to be removed. And actually, it's a chapter 13. So it's not even a chapter 7. It's a chapter 13 where they do reorganization of your debt. So it's not a chapter 7 where they wipe you clean. Ask me how I know about them chapter 7s. Because I did one 10 years ago. Can you believe that? Or 9 years ago. I'm still waiting for that crap to fall off my credit report. What a scam that is. It ain't coming off to June or July of next year. I got 6 months at least to wait for that crap fall off my damn, damn thing there. That's bad, ain't it? So there you go. How do you know if it's included? Um, it's it's in here. It won't matter. We'll we'll know when we put it in and send it through escrow. All the the lies will come out. Believe me. You got that sketchy voice like me right now. Sketchy. Yeah, man. We got that. We got them cigars, man. Smoking them cigars. Yeah, man. <laughs> but yeah, it says it's included in here. Let me see here. Um, they filed it somewhere here in St. Louis. Oh, actually, no, this is, um, meeting address is in the city, but the court address is in the county. I never seen it do that before. I never really read these either, so I'm looking now on that, and then it has a lien on it, a HOA lien of, ooh, $200. I'll oh, hurry up and pay that. They got a HOA lien. Then they got, um, what else they got on here? So, yeah, that's what they got for now. But like I say, so the comps for the property, and hers, she say hers is a 5-3. Um, and like I say, this is a 3-2. This, this, this sold for uh, two fifty nine. So, I mean, I think it's a deal at 200 for real. That house sold for 200 It's a 3-2. That one actually sold for 300 This was sold for 250 Look like it's a little more fixed up. 250 that one sold for 265 that one sold for 260 so you see they're in the range so I'm like at 200 I think it's a deal if it really don't need no repairs like she's saying looking on the map here though you know these houses I mean I can only use EDC let me see C was 200 that's that's the cheapest one D was 250 that's in the same area and E where was E at E right there, 265. Hey, and that's and the reason I'm doing that is because you see this main street right here. I wouldn't want to use this on the other side of that main street. You want to use comps within the same subdivision. Same subdivision, but like I say, our house seems to be some updates done to it. So I don't know. If she texts me back, let me see if she texts me back. Yeah. Nope, she ain't texts me back. I sent her the message, say, send me your email address. I think I'm going to go and send her a damn contract. And, and uh, they wanted 200 I'm thinking I'm just going to send it at 195 Is that janky? Just send a contract over and be like, huh? I thought y'all was selling. They're going to be like, no, nah, we wanted 200 and not a penny less. But like I said, the problem is I didn't talk to all decision makers. Her husband can be one to cop block and mess up the deal. Or he could be one to make a deal. Any other questions, comments, concerns before I get up out of here and do some more woke stuff? Like I said, tonight we're going live, 7 o'clock Central Time, 8 o'clock Eastern. We're on with Mr. TJ to Johnny talking about those short term rentals. There he is down there in um, Houston, Texas. We're on with him tonight. If you want to be notified of when we go live, just use that number you see below there. Text JV to 636 330 1444. Text JV to that, and that'll get you on the notification squad, and you'll get a free joint venture agreement as well. Let us know what happens. Matter of fact, there you go. Boom. Oh, that's woke reply. This is what I was looking for, this one. Boom. Text JV to 636-330-1444. That'll get you that free joint venture agreement, and you'll be notified of when we go live. Yeah, I'll definitely uh, let you know. Hopefully we put them under contract today. And like I say, they were spoken to like a week ago. So I'm like, I really sucked and dropped the ball on the follow-up. And I got to quit doing that because I actually missed another deal where the lady I just spoke to this morning, she's like, yeah, we already got somebody to get it now because I took too long to call her back. Bad habit. The fortunes are in the follow-up. You got to follow up with these people.
right? Follow up, follow up. So, I mean, I would lock this deal up at 200 if I had to, but I would like to get it in the 190s to make sure I can get some money off of it. But I'm thinking I can. If I don't take it down myself, or a minute's included in, uh, uh, no, it's additional. So you have to get a Twilio account. You have to get a Twilio account if you get that uh, WokeReply.com. You get a Twilio account, and they charge you, like, I don't know, a quarter of a penny for voicemails and, like, a quarter of a penny for text. I don't know. They charge something really cheap. Let me go look. It's very cheap, whatever it is. Let's go see real quick before I wrap this thing up. It's cheap. Cheap them up, cheap them up. And it'll replace majority of the stuff you're using. All right, there it is. So that's what it costs right there. Pay as you go pricing in Twilio. So what is that? Seven hundreds? Is that hundreds or thousands? Seven hundreds per SMS or point oh oh eight five per RVM. So it's actually pretty uh, cheap. So there's minutes are not included, but the bill is fifty dollars a month. Fifty dollars a month on there if you want to. Um, do that, lock that in because like I said, that's going up uh, right after Thanksgiving and that's wokereply.com that's this right here <clears throat> cold calling text messages voicemail drops, all automated and so you also get the form builder, funnel builder survey builder Click funnels killer. Like, what do you pay for click funnels? Something ridiculous? I know that stuff is high. Uh, triggers. You can do multiple campaigns, multi touch marketing. You can do SMS, Facebook Messenger, live calls, all in one place. And like I say, it's cheap. It's that plus $50 a month. Yep, it's a CRM too. It's everything. It really, I mean, it's really a game changer. I don't even like saying that, but it's really what it is. It kills almost everything else you're using. In fact, I think you got it on here to tell you what all it kills. It kills on carrot. So these are some of the things you could be paying to get the same stuff. On carrot, $100 a month. Don't need it. Scipio, don't even know what that is. Don't need it. Sly Broadcast, $100 a month. Don't need it. Same thing over here. Lee Sherpa, five hundred a month. Hell no, nah, don't need that. Call rail, hundred dollars a month. My call rail is one hundred and twenty a month. Pipe drive, whatever that is, that's fifty nine dollars a month. Cancel all that. You don't need none of that stuff anymore. You don't need any of it. All you need is that right there. WokeReply.com. Check it out and thank me later. Save you a bunch of money. You're gonna say, "Oh man, why I ain't know about this the day I started." They're going to be you on the phone. All you got to do is speak to people. WokeReply.com. It's the first link in my bio. Go up there, check it out. Hit it up and see if you can pull something. Any other questions? Matter of fact, oh yeah, and you can connect it to this stuff too, I think. I guess that's what they're saying. All these different sites, or maybe you don't need them anymore. Let me see, what does that say? Yeah, you don't need them anymore. Leads flow in. Leads reply, leads get closed. Real simple. Real simple stuff. So check it out. WokeReply.com is the first link in my bio on here. Click it and tick it. All right? So hope y'all have a good rest of the day. I'll see y'all tonight, 7 o'clock Central Time, on with TJ. Talking about those short-term rentals, Airbnb, VRBOs, and all the other short-term leasing opportunities. You want to get into that game? Make sure you're tuned in for that tonight. Get notified, text JV to 31996, all right? So, but all that being said, do what you do, be who you be, and I'll see you before you see me. Find more leads than you can even process. That's multiple listing service. 
that's the MLS for you real estate agents, absentee owner information, find the cash buyers and flippers in any market nationwide, pull a pre-foreclosure list, and don't forget, you gotta find those comps, get nationwide access with multiple filters, powered by PropStream at WokeSource.com. Get your seven-day free trial today, WokeSource.com. That's WokeSource.com. Get your free real estate joint venture agreement and get notified of upcoming shows. Text JV to 636-330-1444. Today's broadcast is being brought to you by WokeSkipTracing.com. Look up phone numbers and email addresses with ease, with pricing as low as only 15 cents per match. Not per search, per match. If there's no number or email address, you don't pay. Get accurate data in just minutes. WokeSkipTracing.com. That's WokeSkipTracing.com. You may have heard the saying, the fortunes are in the follow-up. Now there's a brand new system that is great to help you code call, text message, drop voicemails, and so much more, all automated. You don't have to remember anything. Just set it and forget it. All you have to do is speak to people. Check it out, WokeReply.com. It's a multi-touch marketing campaign where you can schedule to send text, voicemail, email, and even live calls all on autopilot. Check it out today, WokeReply.com. That's WokeReply.com.